Okay, so we've been talking about this a while on the channel here, ray tracing. Uh, here's a gentleman who said, I played Minecraft with ray tracing, and now I want to die and be reincarnated <laughs> inside Minecraft. So here's a guy who has played Minecraft with ray tracing. Now, ray tracing is a technology. Uh, I believe it's an NVIDIA kind of uh, originated technology. I'm not quite sure if it's stemmed from NVIDIA, uh, but I know that the new uh, NVIDIA based 20 series graphic cards, 2000 based graphics cards will employ uh, this feature for games that are ray trace available. Or, or or you can enable them in, in games that have ray tracing but this is this is really cool this video i want you guys to watch of ray tracing in minecraft and the reason i'm showing it in minecraft is because minecraft is one of the most basic basic games in my opinion like i love the fact that you can build a minecraft it's the appeal of minecraft it's a little bit more kid oriented for me but i wanted to show you ray tracing in minecraft because i was blown away by how much better it looked and this is minecraft which generally does not look pleasing to the eye okay so let's just watch this for a moment here because it literally blew me away. I was like, what the hell is this? How does Minecraft look like this? So this is ray tracing in Minecraft. Wait Minecraft for it. Is many things to many people. It is a creative tool. It is a game to get immersed in. It is anything that you would want it to be. Ray tracing is one of the key innovations that we think is next for Minecraft. Did you Our see the difference of that? that? Custom flavor for each block that you can't see anywhere else. We wanted to keep the authentic look of Minecraft. Watch what happens. The boundaries with ray tracing. <laughs> ITX gives the Minecraft world a brand new feel to it. It's crazy what it does. In normal Minecraft, a block of gold just appears yellow. It just but looks gold. Now watch this. On, Boom! You really get to what? see the specular highlight. You get to see the reflection. You can even see a mob reflected in it. I mean, look at that. When light catches or deep in a cave and you see it's diamond, you get that rush of excitement in a way you haven't had before. It's crazy. We can see the subtle reflections in the wood planks, the light seeping in through the windows. They hit the colored carpet and reflect off the wall and subtly color the walls and the environment all around them. Now that we can model each individual light ray, we have the opportunity to simulate these advanced materials like ice, Emissive blocks such as lava now glow with more intensity, radiating blooms of light that cast onto adjacent blocks revealing reflections of the ore. We can model exactly how light filters through foliage as it lands on the ground. We can model the atmospheric density. As light comes through, it forms natural light shafts. With RTX and Minecraft, water now looks like water. You see the reflection, you see the refraction, you see the color transmission through the surface. Working with NVIDIA to implement ray tracing for Minecraft has been incredible. It has allowed the team here to focus just on Minecraft the game, and NVIDIA has focused on the underlying technology <laughs> for ray tracing. And together, we've gotten to a point where we can really see Minecraft with ray tracing come alive right in front of our eyes. This is what we needed in order to like, confidence go out and tell our community ray tracing is coming, and you can come along for the ride. Pretty, pretty crazy stuff to see, to see exactly what happens with ray tracing once it's, once it's enabled. I thought, uh, something I wanted to show you guys, cause personally, I know that there's some instances that we have with, uh, star citizen. We're a big star citizen channel here. And so I want to see it eventually applied to star citizen. There's a great interview that I'm going to put in the link below with Brian chambers, where they talk about ray tracing. And essentially what Brian says is that he wants to make sure that the need is there. That's kind of how he puts it. Uh, when they when the interviewer asked Brian Chambers what he thinks about ray tracing or if he knows about it, Brian says, of course, I know about ray tracing. And then Brian goes on to say that I will really consider ray tracing if that's what our audience wants. Now, for the most part, a lot of us will see a lot of light issues. I know when we're in caves, we see a lot of snapping. We see a lot of uh, issues with with lighting. I, I will say this. 
like the background that you're seeing here, the lighting does look good, but there are times where the lighting are doing some pretty wonky things in the game. On the on the uh, MFDs in your cockpit, the panel displays. A lot of the time when you're traveling, like in Quantum, you'll see the sun be a little bit janky off of those panels. There's a lot of instances in the game where the lighting is not necessarily where it needs to be, and I think ray tracing would be uh, great. But there's a there's a there's a big portion of the Star Citizen audience that says, don't even bother talking about ray tracing right now. Because we don't want to add any more time to the uh, to the roadmap that there already is, you know, let, let's worry about ray tracing later. And I think while that's, you know, an understandable argument, I also would like to put out uh, a proposal saying, welcome, welcome to the fam, Kotrin. Thank you for joining us here, bro. Um, I would also like to put out the statement that, like, the sooner... It gets in there the easier it may be it might be something that might be more difficult to put in after the fact than if they actually planned for it ahead of time and that's a conversation that i do want to have with one of my techs here uh within our very own community his name is jiro he's a really super awesome dude uh he works for microsoft he did ray he was he was responsible for ray tracing in the forza series uh, and the brand new Forza that came out, and he does ray tracing for Microsoft. So uh, I, I definitely want to plan that in the future uh, for a podcast when we boot that up and talk about ray tracing with Jiro. I would love to see what he thinks about ray tracing in regards to implementation within Star Citizen. Um, and it would be a wonderful conversation to have. Thanks, everyone. Put down your comments down below in the video, and I will see you on the next.